Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques. Go to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and last week we talked about using your iPhone in production and how we recently used it for a sketch of our own. It definitely has its limitations and challenges, but mobile devices have become really impressive in the level of quality they're able to produce. So if you have an iPhone or any mobile device with good video capabilities, here's a few must-have accessories for mobile filmmaking. First up is lenses. I have a couple of sets here. First is the cheapest at 23 bucks on Amazon. These are Cam Kicks lenses. It comes with four in total, a fisheye, wide angle telephoto and polarizer. They attach to your phone through this clamp. You screw on the lens that you want and then clamp that onto your phone. So it should work with just about any phone. <laughs> Then a large level up from that would be these guys, the Ollie Clip, which is $120. Definitely pricey for what it is, but much better glass and a lot more solid way to get it on your phone properly since it has the groove here that lets it sort of snap into place. With this one, you have two lenses, a telephoto and an ultra wide. So it's definitely better glass, but like the other, if you don't have the lenses on just right, you're getting some out of focus edges. And I find that it's difficult to get sharp edge to edge no matter what you do really. But using the telephoto does get you a bit more shallow depth of field and some interesting bokeh. <laughs> And our final lens is an anamorphic lens made for the iPhone. This is the Moon Dogs anamorphic adapter. It has a 1.33 times squeeze, which means it works with 16.9 footage. So you slap this guy on and grab your shots, which will look a bit stretched like this. Once you get that into your editor, you can fix it. And in my case, I'm using Adobe Premiere, so I'll just right click the shot, go to modify, then interpret footage. And in pixel aspect ratio, I'll conform to HD anamorphic 1.333, and there you go. So just like with any anamorphic adapter, the upside here is that you're using your full sensor while you still getting that cinematic widescreen look and since it is stretched and you squeeze it down you're getting a bit of that nice anamorphic feeling bokeh and of course lens flares although often the iphone doesn't handle harsh sources of light very well so it's a give and take there the massive downside here is that the lens will run you 175 dollars so it probably isn't going to be worth it for most but it is definitely a nice cinematic look so if that's what you're needing there you go moving on to stabilizers we have the me photo sidekick 360 this is a tripod adapter for your device goes for 35 dollars and lets you mount to anything that you would mount a normal camera to. You also have some extra movements here to rotate the device around as needed, which is nice. And I tried out several and this was by far the sturdiest of the bunch. Then there's the Benro mini tripod, which works as a small tripod for your device or monopod of sorts or selfie stick, which I always die a little bit inside whenever I have to say the word selfie out loud. But it also comes with this Bluetooth trigger so you can stop and start or snap pictures using that if needed. And this one is only 30 bucks. Then on the much pricier but entirely awesome end, we have the DJ Osmo Mobile for 280 bucks. And like I said last week, this is the best of its kind. You're able to get all kinds of silky smooth shots. It's really intuitive. Once you've used it for five minutes, it feels like you've had it for five months. Everything's gonna follow your movements normally right up front, but if you hold down this trigger, it will lock and stay smooth on the position that you last had it at regardless of how you move. Once you have your finger off the trigger again and you need to recenter your phone, just double tap the trigger and there you go. Then you have the joystick in front, which you can control your pan and tilt, but then if you connect the device to Filmic Pro on your phone, like we talked about last week, you can hit this button here and then shift between locking and unlocking your focus and exposure or operating them manually right from the joystick. Once here, right and left shifts your exposure and up and down will pull focus. And of course, you can start and stop your recording right from here as well. DJI also has their own app for connecting to the Osmo as well, which is great for calibrating your gimbal and setting the speed that you want for your moves. But for actual shooting, I'd much rather do that inside of Filmic Pro. But now we take a quick break and then talk audio and storage. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, domain.com is a place to go when that next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity and vision for your brand or idea. And the world's top two premier and most recognized domain name extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. And for a limited time from now until August 31st, you can get 35% off by using the coupon code FILMJUMBO when you get domain names, web hosting, and email. And when you think domain names, think domain.com.
Logo. Jumping into audio right off the bat, the audio right inside of the phone is actually pretty impressive, but in production, you want something much more directional and focused, just like what we had when recording our sketch. I wanted to handle it the same way that we always do, which meant using my Rode NTG3 shotgun mic right into the camera. To do that right into the iPhone, I got this guy, the iRig Pre, which goes for 40 bucks. Of course, I have the iPhone 7, so we had to use the dongle for the iRig, but it worked fine. Once it was connected and we plugged that in, we could connect our mic through the XLR input that that's on the iRig, then turn on phantom power for our mic, adjust gain, and monitor our audio. So using this guy, I was able to get the audio right into the phone, just like I would with my C100 or C300. And if I need to use one of my lav mics, I can do the same, but just switching phantom power off, and there you go. And the sound that you get is pretty impressive. In fact, the original audio from our sketch was crazy noisy. A lot of work had to go into it in post to salvage that audio, because there was just a lot happening around my neighborhood on that day. Two, two times. Six of hearts. Damn it! And even though I was processing the iPhone pretty aggressively, just like the image, it held up really well. Damn! Well, I was closer. No. But if you just want to go straight to your phone with something like a lob, you can get the smart lob from Rode, which is great. Or if you need to stay very cheap, check out the Boya M1. It's 15 bucks and has pretty decent quality. Uh, welcome to Film Ride. The show takes mystery and effects techniques to go to your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Douchebag Douchey Douche which is good for mobile devices or even a DSLR. And of course, one of the best things that you can get for anything like this is gonna be one of Rode's video mics, which is what I used to shoot our ad that was sort of a vlog parody. Those mics are really excellent, and again, ones that you could connect directly into your phone or camera. And finally, we have storage. While shooting, I almost ran out of storage on my phone. If the sketch had been any longer, we would have had to have stopped and transferred. But for how I would use my phone for shooting, I don't see me having a laptop around with me when I do, which makes this little thing perfect. This is the the SanDisk I expand. The price for this is going to vary depending on what size that you get, but it's going to be anywhere between $40 and $200. You just connect this to your phone, download the iXpand app, then in Filmic Pro you can select the clip that you want to offload, then select iXpand and save where you want. Now you can plug this right into your computer and grab those files. So a great way to back up footage or clear space while shooting. Again, as always, links to all of this can be found in the notes below, and if you aren't subscribed, consider doing that. And if you do, make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified when we put up new stuff and I'll see you next week when I eat cat poop so I can have a steak.